Please be advised that this video is for the sole purpose of entertainment. Any views of purely my own are subjective and may not necessarily be true. I do, however, do extensive research for all of my videos. All photos have been found on the public domain. I am using them under the Fair Use and Fair Dealing guidelines. I urge everybody to do their own research. Well, hello, it's Murky Meg here. It's Saturday the 28th of December and I really do hope that you had the most wonderful Christmas time. I know I did. I'm well refreshed and it was a much needed break. I'm sorry I left you a little bit longer than normal, but I needed some time to recharge my batteries, spend time with my wonderful family, and just generally get merry and eat my weight in cheese. So let's get on with it, shall we? It's certainly been an eventful time over the Christmas period, hasn't it? On the 23rd of December, around about half past 10 in the evening, this was dropped by the Queen's Commonwealth Trust Twitter account. And it was a picture of baby Archie, Meghan and Harry. Out of focus, those two, and in the focus at the front was Archie. Now, when I first saw this, it was a bit of a uh, moment. Why? Yet again, black and white, trying to be edgy. But it failed, didn't it? because a lot of people were actually picking it apart. And quite rightfully so, in my own personal opinion. There was a huge amount of discrepancies within this photo. And in fact, the Daily Mail ran a story that called it out and said, could it possibly have been photoshopped? Interestingly enough, that's now been deleted. I can't find that article anywhere. I've got a screenshot of it, of course, but I can't find it on the Daily Mail's website at all. It's been taken down. But there was some discrepancies. Basically, Meghan was in focus, but Harry wasn't, but they were the same distance away from the baby. That's impossible with regards to photography terms. You can't do that. You cannot change the perceptions of a photo, the depth just doesn't happen without enhancement. So that's what people were calling out. Then something weird happened. My guess is that a fan had face-tuned Megan's face to make her face appear clearer. You can do that. Download Facetune app. You can literally highlight a face and it sharpens up the image. But then that looks even more photoshopped. What actually happened then was this picture went viral, not the other one, because everybody could clearly see that it looked even more photoshopped than before. So the original that was shared by the Queen's Commonwealth Trust stayed where it was, and the edited version went viral. Now, here lies the problem. Everybody started to scream that it was the Daily Mail that had altered this photo. But it wasn't because Omid Scooby had actually tweeted the edited version, not the Commonwealth version. And a lot of people were then calling out everybody, saying that this is clearly photoshopped. Megan's face looked like it had been superimposed. It really, really did. You looked at the picture and thought, huh, what the hell is going on? Because it defies the laws of physics, the way that it was actually photographed. You cannot be in focus at the front and also be in focus at the back. It just doesn't happen. So then as people started sort of saying, well, how come she's in focus and Harry isn't? Why is he more blurrier? than she is. He's the actual royal. It caused a massive controversial issue. Then this happened. There was a picture kill of the edited version. This instructed all media not to use this particular photo and only use the one that was originally put out by the Commonwealth Trust. But even that has inaccuracies in it. I mean, for example, Meghan's a lot shorter than Harry, yet she is taller. Yes, he's slumped over, but it just doesn't make sense to me, in all honesty. My honest opinion is that this photo was actually killed to squash any suggestion that this photo, original or not, was photoshopped. Because, come on, let's face it, it was. The original was photoshopped slightly, if not a little bit more than slightly, and so was the edited version that went viral. Then it was interesting that this picture kill came out. It then tries to blame, and I think this was the reason why it happened, then tries to put the blame onto the media. Well, 
No surprise there because Megan is suing the hell out of any media that she can. This, I think, will be a huge plus towards the court case unless it can prove that it was photo edited before it actually was released by the Commonwealth Trust. Then up pops Janina Gavanka, who apparently originally took the photo. She tweeted that she was so proud to have taken the Christmas photo for one of my best friends and her family. Here's the original that was sent out. Now you see, very clever wording, sent out. It's not the original photograph because this is a GIF. I can't show you it, but it has sparkles. It also has the text on it. So it's not the original photo. It's the original image that was sent out as their Christmas card, not an original photo like the Cambridges. Very strange wording there. She could have quite easily cleared this up and put a copy of the original photo that she took of them without all the blitz and the glamour and the sparkles and the wording. Post the original, Janina, post it. So therefore we can have a look to see if it's been photoshopped. Quite easy to make this all go away. Post the original photograph. But she hasn't, has she? And I want to ask why. Why do you think she hasn't posted the original one that she took of the three of them without all the text and the sparkles and the whatnot? Post it and all of this can be cleared up. I think that this is an elaborate ruse to throw yet more shade on what they perceive to be the media gung-ho and attacking Megan. It's another game, isn't it? Woo-hoo, woe is me, I'm being picked on. Let's play a little game, shall we? Let's play games with our Christmas card to try and catch them out. Sorry, failed. As far as I can see it, the Press Association issued a kill order for what she claimed was the original. I personally can't see very much difference between the original and the so-called edited one, apart from the issues making Megan's face that little bit clearer, sharper, and don't even mention those teeth. Sorry, love, but your victim card has now expired and is well overdue and in the red. What do I think about the Christmas card itself? I just think it's a little bit cheesy to be perfectly honest. I think all babies are beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I think that in this particular photo didn't catch Archie in his best light. Don't get me wrong, he's a bonny little baby, but the perceptions and the depths just didn't look right to be perfectly honest. I think it would have looked much better if they'd had the tree behind them, sitting closer together with Archie between them on their knees somehow and literally interacting with the baby. For me personally, it was cold, it was didn't have feeling, it didn't have warmth. It was just all about them and there was no closeness, there was no happiness, there was no family unit. They were all literally separated, nobody was touching. And then factor in this issue with the whole photoshopping malarkey, it just didn't feel right. And once again, all the focus was bang on Harry and Meghan. And that's exactly how they wanted it, wasn't it? I'll give them one thing to be perfectly honest. They now have even more ammunition towards what they call their campaign against the Daily Mail. Whether or not it's true, we'll wait and see. But I'm sure that this will be coming up in their court case to be used against them. So what did you guys think of the actual Christmas card that was released? Do you think that it was photoshopped? Do you think that it was just slightly edited? Do you think it should have been edited at all? Would it be a good thing if the original photo was released? And why hasn't it actually been released? What do you think of the photo kill? Why was it done in your opinion? And also, do you think that this is all an elaborate game for the Sussexes to have yet more ammunition, or so they believe, for the media and playing the victims of a campaign against them? What I can't understand is that the Cambridges released a beautiful black and white picture of William and the children, and it was beautiful in all its simplicity. No tricks, no fuss, no gadgets, just a black and white picture released on their Instagram account. But the Sussexes just 
didn't release theirs on their Instagram account at all. They just said Merry Christmas with their usual style of the blue background with the idiotic white writing. Why do the Sussexes need all of this glitz and glamour, sparkles and Merry Christmases and stuff like that when a simple picture would just do the trick? Are they trying to hide something? Speaking of hiding, I will go into that in more detail about where they are and the tricks that they are playing, the hide and seek in Canada. Boy oh boy is that juicy. But that's for my next video. As always, let me know what you think about the things that I've discussed in this video in the comment section below and I will see you very soon. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. Thank you to everyone that has donated to my channel. I'm overwhelmed with your generosity and kindness. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon.